Be still. I'm Pastor Arlo, and today's September the 1st, and uh, I have a scripture for you. It's found here in Exodus chapter 14 and verse 14. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. So when was the last time you can remember of just being still? And, you know, I don't mean like sitting in a traffic or standing in line at the store. But, uh, today's fast-paced culture, people are constantly multitasking, trying to do more in less time. And I know, I I'm that way too. Constantly on the go, constantly seeking information, constantly uh, checking off to-do lists. But... Uh, there's nothing wrong with all these things, but if we're going to see the, the Lord fight our battles, if we're going to embrace the victory that He has for us, we have to make it a priority to be still before Him. Get quiet. Come boldly before the throne of God. That's where you'll find mercy in time of need. Uh, be still means taking time alone in the Almighty's presence. Be still means being quiet before him, listening to his voice, meditating on his word. Uh, we need to also keep our hearts and minds still no matter what else is going on. See, being still means silencing the negative voices in our mind. It means choosing the right thoughts and putting our trust in him. That's why it's so important to keep his word first place in our life. Because when you know his word, you know him. And when you know him, you trust him. And uh, when, when you trust him, your heart and mind will be still before him. And he will lead you to victory all the days of your life. So I'd like to say a prayer over you today. Father, we come in, to you in your precious son's name, the Lord Jesus Christ. And Father, we choose to be still in you. Father, we choose to cast the cares on you. Fill us with your peace today. Fill us with your hope as we keep our heart and mind stayed upon you in Jesus' name. Amen. And I have a video clip that I want to play for you. And uh, the video clip is by Duffel, uh, Michael W. Smith. It's Build My Life. Here it is. Well, God bless you, and I pray your day is just filled with the joy and the presence of God in a very special way in your life. God bless.